I'm Robin with Robin's Re3. We're going to be working with a small box today. There were some hearts on the front and on the back and I kind of cut them off and I want this to be in in my Americana area that I have down in front so I'm just looking to see which is the best side. This is actually strapping from reupholstery like when you reupholster a couch this goes in the bottom where your cushions go. So I'm going to actually use this to wrap the box. Um, so I'm just going to be stapling. No glue necessary. I may be able to get away with just the ones on the back if I pull it tight enough. We're going to put a little red, white, and blue arrangement in here. Oh yeah. We can do it. Okay. It gets really, uh, um, the sun is really strong down there, so everything kind of gets bleached out and looks old to begin with. But I'm going to be using some more of the English Ivy. It's a great filler. And then I'm going to build from there. So we need to spread it out. Give it, give it life. And I think I'm going to do it just right there in the front and kind of push it down. May only need two for this one. Let's see how we do. I think I'm going to put one in the back when I'm done. So we've got a total of three in there. But these are lilies, tiger lilies, and I'm going to use those. They, believe it or not, survived down there last year, so we're just going to use them again. If it survives, it stays. Because there are some colors, like the red, it totally bleached those out. And then I have some of these little white flowers that I tea stained last year. And they kind of held up pretty good. So I kind of like these. So I think we're going to go with red, white, and blue. And I'm going to go to some red carnations. So then we have a variety. Now. See, may not need that much. A little blue on this. After we plug it in. Every time I unplug it, it pulls on the plug and bends it. So let's see. I kind of want to disperse these throughout. I don't know. I think these will put on the ends. No, they don't look vintage enough. 
so I kind of like these. I'm just looking to see if I have anything else that might work. No, I think we're just going to go with those. Add a pick to this because it gets a lot of wind down there, and we don't want these going anywhere. Did I put one on this one? No, I didn't. Like I want something in the middle, but I'm not sure what. Yes, this might work. We can get it down without it pulling everything with it. together. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm going to go with some Dusty Millers there in the middle. I kind of like those. Ah, I like that. Let's go with that. We can kind of spread them out. Let's trim that. Yeah, and then intermix the red and blue throughout. Are you seeing how that takes shape already? And we'll put some reds over here and then some blues. All right, we're going to cut these. Or Am I going to do it this way? I think I'm going to do it this way. Let's take this off. And then I can kind of put one back, one forward, one back, that type of deal. And then mix in the blues in there. Yeah, like that. Why not? Take advantage of one stem. There we go. All right. Now, do I want a big blue one in there as a focal point and some little ones over here? It does not have... A stem, but I always save my stems that I cut because you never know when you might need one. So, skinny end is up that way. So, let's hot glue this. That's kind of pretty. different. Just put it right in there. But I'm going to need something. Let me see. Pull some of these forward to the front. I 
There we go. But I still need like something right there. So let's try these and see if these catch our eye. Come on, give it back. Didn't want to give it back. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Kind of pulls off of that. That's a different... I also have a flag here if I wanted to put this in here. I like them when they kind of like drape down, but it's not doing it for me. Nope, not doing it for me. I'm liking these though. I may have to go with some greenery back there. Let's bring this one up. Oh yeah. One's longer. I'm supposed to pull it out and crimp it, and I end up pulling two of them out. Okay. There we go. Right in there. Okay, but it still needs something higher back there. So, let's see if we trim some of this and put this in the back. If that will achieve the height that I need. No, kind of need the variegated. Let's go for this. Actually... There's one. See, because I can take this like climbing up the wall. So let's use that. I'm sorry. Can you see okay? Because Ivy likes to climb. So Ivy needs room. Needs to go in just a little more. There. There we go. Oh yeah. And we got another long piece here. together. You know how some people do that? They put a little trellis in there where they kind of hook together. Let me see. I have two little flags. Maybe two little flags. One here and one over here. Nah. Um, one more thing here. Let's see what some of these red high spikes look like in the back. needs just a little punch of red up top there. And this might just be 
what it needs. Yes. Now, let's see if I can get down in here. Well, so that kind of pulls your eye back and up. All right, let's find the longest piece because the longest piece will stick in the middle. There we go. I did it again. back of the Dusty Miller. Yes. Like I said, this can go that way or that way. It'll go up against the wall. And then we need one more on that side. I try to do in, um, in, I try to work in odd numbers. Yellow in the middle there. Yeah. There. What do you think? I think it needs a bow. I kind of like this because it has the blues, it has the whites, it has the red in it. And I really like this. This is in my Etsy shop. This is a little Uncle Sam's hat. And he looks kind of Americana to me. So we're going to glue and staple to the back of this. And we're going to put that in there. And it matches the ribbon. So now this is just a skewer from Dollar Tree. Okay. Let's see where we can get that. I think I kind of like it there. And it matches everything in the design. Okay. And then we'll put the bow over here and the bow matches the hat. And I think I also have the bow uh, fabric or the bow, the wire ribbon listed in my Etsy shop too. I don't need a very big one because this is not a very big container. So I'm just going to actually do five. Sorry, I'm a messy crafter. I know. All right, we're going to get another skewer again. And we're going to attach this to the skewer. And we probably won't need that tall of one. So, I'm going to zip tie it to the skewer. Just make a little, like, pick out of it. Put a little spot of glue on it, because like I said, that's a windy area down there. There we go. Let's dovetail. Now. Ah. Came off. There we go. Let's add a little more glue. And there we go. An Uncle Sam Americana. Like I said, we can just 
took those two. In fact, I think I'm just going to take a little piece of the floral wire and hook them together. Why not? I think that just adds a little to the design. Oop. And it's screen wire, so you're not going to see it. But there we go. I am loving it. I hope you are too. All right, thanks for joining me. Have a great weekend.